Hey guys, welcome to the third video in this series, Breach at the Pass. This is kind of the trickiest one of them. Because there's a few different things you could screw up in on it. I'm just to give a quick rundown like always. Of course, it's a slower tutorial kind of mode. Um, you know, you're able to do it a lot faster in person. Which we, in the first two, we used a solitary guard to attack the shrine. Well, in this one, the shrine is impenetrable, so we have to do something else. And what that is, is to destroy like basically like the rat golems. Um, this one's the first one here, obviously. And then once he dies, a second one will spawn where my mouse is currently. And then once you kill him, a third and final one will spawn next to their shrine that you have to destroy. And how we're going to do this is we're going to be using acid gales on them. The first two will take one, and then the final one will probably take two, depending on the time. So instead of Solitary Garu, what we're going to be looking for is Ember Wasp or Imp. The reason we're doing this is because they already come into play stealthed and with flying, so you don't have to give them those things like you do with the Garu, which saves you Nora. On this level, Nora is kind of an issue compared to some of the other levels where it really isn't. You can see I just used my Foresight. Then I'm going to go ahead and use Shrine Scry. Alright, we have two Ember Wasps. You really, ideally you want to use an Imp, but because you have an Ember Wasp, we'll use that. The reason why I say you want to use an Imp is because it costs less Nora, which will save you from um, ending a turn earlier later on. But as I mentioned before, if you have to end turns to get Nora or get a rune, just do it. Don't think about how you, you can get around it, because it's all about time, not about turns. So we're going to go ahead and end turn. And just like in the other levels, it is pretty much scripted, so nobody's going to come and attack us. If you do wait, this group will move forward on you a little bit, but they're not going to actually come and attack you. And so we didn't get any Acid Gales, so we're going to go ahead and do the Foresight and try and again. Still didn't get one, but that's okay because we don't want to use it this turn anyway. I'm going to move my emboss closer so, he'll, so he's in range to use the acid gale. But you want to wait until turn 6 because the AI will not have generated enough Nora to effectively kill it with one acid gale. You'll have to use two acid gales, um, which will obviously mess things up. It's not the end of the world if you do. It's just not the fastest way. You can see we got an acid gale. So we're going to go ahead and use that on him. And then we're going to move our Ember Wasp to kind of this area here. Doesn't That isn't a specified spot because these guys don't have detect or anything. And then I'll move forward so you can see the next one spawn right there. Use our Foresight because we do need another acid gale okay we got it and then I like to move my ember wasp over onto the rocks just in case you are like a turn behind and they start moving you're out of the way and also it will lead into our next move which I'll show you They're all healing the construct. This is what I mean when I mentioned in my first one how this level takes longer. You want to target four minutes. It can be done in three minutes and stuff, but I don't want to mislead you guys. Um, so I say four minutes. Right, you can see there's the guy. He's moving towards us. We're going to wait another turn, though. gonna let him get closer the reason we waited is because of what we're gonna do next we're gonna use acid gale on him 
which destroys him. Then we're going to move our Ember Wasp this way. The reason we go to the left instead of the right where my mouse currently is, is because the Mountain Sentry has detection. And yes, you can move around it, but when you're doing this in real time and you're just trying to beat these as fast as possible, you, know, you don't have as much time to analyze and think. So I don't want to screw up by going you know, one square over to the right and get it detected. Instead, I just go to the left and avoid them completely. Now we're going to end turn. You can see the final guys right there. And then since we don't have any acid gas because we're in our cooldown, we're going to use recall. You can use some other spells if you want. There's a couple different choices that have reduced the spell cooldowns. Recall splits 12 among them, so you're getting 6 each. This works out really well. This is however why I waited a turn. You don't always have to wait, depending on the math, but once again, I want something repeatable. I want it easy to you guys to remember. And then you see because if we this is probably only going to take one acid gale now because we waited that extra turn. But sometimes if you don't wait, then you don't have enough to cast two. Um, the reason why it's only going to take one acid gale is because we waited an extra turn, so they generated more Nora compared to if you did it a turn earlier. They're not going to have as much Nora, so you're going to have to use two acid gales. It's kind of a catch twenty two. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And he's dead. So like I said, we waited, so we have more than enough Nora, obviously. But if we didn't wait, we'd have to use two, and you might not have enough. So just once again, click end turn. It's pretty easy. Don't worry about the end turn things, because the returns only take about 10 to 15 seconds. Um, and it's all about the overall time. So there you go.